What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kangaroo Black again. And in this video, I want to talk to talk to you all about how the Heisman Trophy Committee got it wrong and how some of these other college uh, football award committees got it wrong. And I'm going to jump into it right after this. <laughs> Okay, everybody, I'm back. Uh, I'm going to start off by talking about the Heisman Trophy uh, finalists uh, with your uh, Bryce Young. Everybody knows he's going to win it uh, from Alabama. Kenny Pickett from Pittsburgh and uh, C.J. Stroud from Ohio State. Now they got a defensive player in there, Aiden Hutchinson from um, Michigan. I don't know how they put this guy in there, but they chose him over Will Anderson and Devin Lord for some reason. I don't know why. Aiden Hutchinson has 33 solo tackles. I don't care about assisted tackles, but he has 33 solo tackles, 14 sacks, two forced fumbles. He also has 15.5 tackle for loss. But then when you look at Will Anderson's number numbers, he's got 52 total uh, uh, well, solo tackles, 15 and a half sacks, and he also has 27.5 tackles for loss. All right. So you go to Devin Lloyd, who has 63 uh, solo tackles, seven sacks, one force fumble, and he also has a fumble recovery of four interceptions, and he has 22 tackles for loss. So, how in the world do they put Aiden Hutchinson? over Will Anderson and Devin Lord. I don't understand. In my opinion, both of them should be uh, Heisman Trophy finalists, Will Anderson and Devin Lord. They're the two best um, defensive players in the country. So I just don't understand how you just blow past those guys and put Aiden Hutchinson, Aiden Hutchinson in there. I don't understand it. So can somebody please explain that to me? <laughs> but we're going to get, okay, that's that's really all I got to say about the highs. But we already know who's going to win that, which is uh, Bryce Young. But I'm going to go based a little word about the defensive side of the ball and how Will Anderson is getting robbed out of some of these awards. Most of, most of the defensive, award, defensive awards, he's not even a finalist for it. He never got chosen. They just blew by. But uh, he did win the uh, Nagurski Award, the National Defensive Player of the Year. So he uh, he won that. I think he won that last night. Uh, he won it over Jordan Davis of Georgia and Keon, uh, uh, Keon Thibodeaux from Oregon, or Kayvon Thibodeaux, whatever his damn name. But he's from Oregon. Uh, and he's also a finalist for the, uh, the Bagneric Award for the top defensive player of the year. And uh, Jordan Davis is a finalist. Uh, Kyle Hamilton is a finalist. And Kevon Thibodeaux is a finalist. So we'll see who wins that. But when, all, when you look at it, all right, we already seen uh, – Will Anderson stats. I'll probably put them up again. But if you look at Jordan Davis's stats, now these guys are going up for the same award. Jordan Davis has 14 solo tackles and two sacks. Um, and I think he got three and a half tackles for loss. So how do those numbers compare? I don't I don't understand that. How can he be put in the same category for the same award? For, as, as a Will Anderson. Okay, you got uh, Kyle Hamilton, 19 solo tackles, three interceptions, four pass deflected. So, and he's got uh, two tackles for loss. 
again, those numbers don't add up. All right. Then you got uh, Kayvon Thibodeaux, 35, solo tackle, seven sacks, two forced fumbles. Okay, maybe. But those numbers do not add up against Will Anderson. So he should win that award outright. No doubt about it. Okay. So award, Will Anderson won't even consider for the uh, the Dick Buckus Award, which is a top linebacker in foot in college football, but uh, which I think is a shame. But uh, Nicoba Dean, he he won that. So and Nicoba Dean is an outstanding linebacker, man. He's a, he's a outstanding player. So uh, still, I don't I don't understand how Will Anderson didn't get considered for that with the numbers he had, but. Uh, Nicole Dean got 29 solo tackle, five sacks, one force formal, and two interceptions. So, I don't know, man. Maybe because he's a senior. Maybe <laughs> I, I just don't get it. You know, I just, I'm just going by the numbers. But then the Walter Kemp Player of the Year Award, Will Anderson didn't uh, get considered for that either. We got Jordan Davis, again, with his low stats. Uh, I know people say, well, he's a he get double team, triple team, and, and that's the, that's his impact. I'm I'm I don't believe it. I watch I, I don't watch Jordan Davis, and I seen him Saturday. He didn't do nothing against Alabama, and he didn't get triple and double team on every play. Uh, Jordan Davis what like three hundred and what sixty three fifty? I don't know three forty. I don't know. But he was getting handled by a 250-pound man, 260-pound man. So I, you can't tell me that uh, he's such a dominant force. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But uh, for the Walter Camp Player Award, Player of the Year, like I said, Jordan Davis from Georgia, no tackle. Then you got Aiden Hutchinson again, which I don't understand how he's getting in over these guys. Then you got uh, – Offensive player, Kenny Pickett, quarterback from Pitt, Bryce Young, Alabama quarterback, and Kenneth Walker, uh, Michigan State running back. So, uh, I think Bryce Young will win that. Uh, that's just my opinion, but I think Bryce Young will win that. And then the Lot Impact Trophy Award. Top defensive player in college football. Will Anderson was not mentioned for that either, even considered. You got Jordan Davis again. Why? I don't know. Nicole Dean. Still not. Don't have better numbers than uh, Will Anderson. Aiden Hudson does not have better numbers than uh, Will Anderson. Uh, I just, I just, I just don't know. And you got uh, Devin Lord, which those two should one of those. Uh, Devin Lord should be the one to win. The uh the the, the the lot impact trophy for the year, top defensive player, Devin Lord should win it with the numbers he got. Once again, 63 total tackles, seven sacks, uh, one force uh formal, four interception, and 22 tackles for loss. That's who should win that award. But like I said, these committees, I don't know how they uh come up with these finalists or what they looking for, but. All I know is Will Anderson is being robbed out of some of these awards. For them not to even consider the guy after the, the, the kind of year that he had, this man put up better numbers than some of these guys in one season. Right. This season that they have, they hold four years in playing college football. But yet he don't get considered for these awards. Like I said, maybe it's because these most of these guys are seniors and he's just a sophomore, or maybe it's just because he played with Alabama and people are tired of Alabama. So let me know your opinion, but I, I don't, that's just my take on it. But uh, let me end this video, and uh, hopefully I can get some feedback and somebody can explain to me what's going on and why they don't want Will Anderson or why they not considering Will Anderson for some of these awards. So I'll talk to y'all later. Roll Tide.